Good morning, everyone. Today I am subbing third grade. So this is what our classroom looks like today. This is the lesson plan that I was given. Today's Thursday, so I'm just following what is for Thursday. It is lunchtime right now, and I just took the students to the cafeteria. Today has been a busy day. I have not had a chance to eat my snack. This is what I'm snacking on right now. And then I have my poppy. Once the bell rang at eight, the students line up right in front of the um, classroom door. I let them in, um, they put away their backpacks, their water bottles, and sat in their seat. I introduced myself, took attendance, and we did the flag salute. Then the next thing on their schedule is AR reading from 8.30 to 9. Students are reading um, quietly in their desk and or taking an AR test on their Chromebooks. I did have an aide in here who came into the classroom, sat in the back table, and met with a few students to help them read and complete their AR test. Um, so that was very helpful. Then at nine o'clock, we moved on to ELA. So for ELA today, on the schedule, it says that the students are gonna be on their Chromebooks on a website called IXL or typing.com. After ELA, it was recess. And once the students came back from recess, we moved on to DL slash DLD. The teacher didn't really put specific directions in what we're doing. It just says benchmark, advanced, LPAC, small group, UA. No idea what that means. So yesterday I subbed for second grade at another school and we did a read out loud. They wrote sentences about the story and then they drew a picture. So I decided to do the same thing today um, with the third graders since there was no specific directions in what to do. So let me show you what we did. I chose the story Carla Sandwich um, from YouTube and then it's by Story Online. It's a really good book. I gave them this worksheet where they wrote one to three sentences about their favorite sandwich. Then I went to YouTube and found a tutorial on how to draw a sandwich. So we followed the video along. Um, this is by Art Hub for Kids. After the students finished their writing and art, there was a few minutes left before we went to lunch. And um, I just had them go back on their Chromebooks and work on typing.com. Once we come back from lunch, um, we're gonna move over to math. So for math, the students are learning about rounding. So I am gonna be introducing them to rounding by tens and the teacher provided a lot of links and um, videos and Google Slides to follow. This is the video we're gonna be starting math with. It is rounding to the nearest ten, so it kind of goes over a number line and teaching them how to round by tens. After that, the teacher provided these slides with resources to use. One resource was a number line. She also provided a rounding chart that's gonna help the students know whether to round up or down. This is an example we're gonna go over. Then the students on their whiteboard are gonna be rounding to the nearest tens. Once we're done going over rounding, we are moving over to Freckle Math Facts. So it is recess right now. I just took the students to the playground and I just went quickly to use the bathroom and I'm back in the classroom to set up for what is next. I realized that PE is right after recess. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna go outside with the kids for PE. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. Um, I think I'm just gonna take them to the playground or play a game that I noticed that a lot of students really like. And that game is Sharks and Minnows. It's kind of like tag. Once we come back from PE, the last thing we're doing before dismissal is listening to a read out loud. So I am choosing between two books on Story Online. I love Story Online just because it's a lot of famous people or known people that read stories. Um, one of my favorites is Julius the Baby of the World. The ones I'm thinking of playing is Maddie's Fridge, which is read by Jennifer Garner, or Zombies Don't Eat Veggies by Jamie Camille. It is the end of the day. I already walked the students to the gate. Then I'm back into the classroom. I am working on the sub note. Our school has a form that they want us to fill in just to provide feedback about our day today. The students tidied up the classroom. So they mentioned that they have classroom jobs. Each person in that group has a job. So one puts the Chromebooks away, one puts the headphones away, one throws the trash, and one wipes the desk. They clean the whole classroom themselves which helped me i have a few minutes left until i get to go home um i am off at three it is 2 33 um i'm think i'm hoping to leave like 2 45 i'm just finishing filling out the form and the sub note 
um, but that was it for today. It was a very smooth day, although some instructions in the sub plan was not specific or detailed. Um, we were able to get through the day. This school provides a lot of support. Um, so there was a math aide and that aide worked with one or two students in the back table. And then during reading, we also had another aide that met with two to three students and um, helped them um, read a book and complete their AR test. The principal came in, in the morning to check how the students were doing. Then we had two more people that came in um, just to help help out in case we needed it. The school is really small, so I think that is why there's a lot of support on campus, which I really appreciated. There's times where I never get to see the principal or I never get anyone coming in to check on me.